Book 1, Chapter 5, Against the Academics If a man, St. Epictetus, opposes evident truths, it is not easy to find arguments by which we shall make him change his opinion. But this does not arise either from the man's strength or the teacher's weakness. For when the man, though he has been confuted, is hardened like a stone, how shall we then be able to deal with him by argument? Now there are two kinds of hardening, one of the other standing, the other of the sense of shame, when a man is resolved not to assent to what is manifest or to desist from contradictions. Most of us are afraid of mortification of the body and will contrive all means to avoid such a thing, but we care not for the, about the soul's mortification. And indeed with regard to the soul, if a man be in such a state as not to apprehend anything or understand at all, we think that he is in a bad condition, but if the sense of shame shame and modesty or deaden this we call even power or strength do you comprehend that you are awake i do not the man replies for i do not even comprehend when in my sleep i imagine that i am awake does this appearance then not differ from the other not at all he replies shall i still argue with this man and what fire or what iron shall i apply to him to make it feel that he is deadened he does perceive but he pretends that he does not he is even worse than the dead man he does not see the contradiction. He is in a bad condition. Another does see it, but he is not moved. It makes no improvement. He is even in a worse condition. His modesty is extirpated and his sense of shame and the rational faculty has not been cut off from him, but it is brutalized. Shall I name this strength of mine? Certainly not. Unless we also name it such in catamities, although which they, do which they do and say in public whatever comes into their head.